Today we will be discussing the relationship between velocity and pressure as expressed by Bernoulli's equation and the real world applications of its effects. Bernoulli's equation is a statement of the conservation of energy for flowing fluids. This equation relates the pressure, elevation, and velocity of a fluid and tells us that its energy along a streamline is constant. If you look at it as different states within a section of pipe, then the equation can be modified to where there are terms on both sides, which you can see in the second form of the equation. This equation says that the total energy the fluid has from its pressure, elevation, and velocity at state 1 is the same as that at state 2. One of the more common phenomena that can be explained by this equation is the inverse relationship between the pressure of a flowing fluid and its velocity. What does this mean? It means that when the velocity decreases, the pressure increases, and when the velocity increases, pressure decreases. In this demonstration, we have a ping pong ball hanging near a blow dryer. When the flow is turned on, the stream of air is at a higher velocity than the surrounding air, which, as seen from Bernoulli's equation, will create a low pressure zone. This results in a pressure imbalance on the ping pong ball that will push it towards the flow of air. Notice how there is a gap between the stream of air and the ping pong ball. When the hair dryer is turned on, the fast moving air stream causes a lower pressure zone on the right side of the ball, and the higher atmospheric pressure on the left pushes the ball into the air stream. This demonstration shows how a fluid stream results in a lower pressure, and is actually a very good representation of how this effect is applied in industry. This rather simple idea, that increased velocity results in lower pressure, is used in several industrial applications. Steam jet ejectors utilize a high velocity steam jet to force material from a low pressure area to a higher pressure area. Ejectors were used on steam locomotives to force water back into the boiler and are still used in industry today. The ping pong ball demonstration is an excellent tool to understand how these devices work. The hair dryer acts as a high velocity jet or motive, and the ping pong ball is the suction material. Venturi blowers and some vacuum pumps also operate on this principle and are very similar to the steam jet ejector. They utilize a high velocity fluid stream, often air, to evacuate a space. This type of vacuum pump is often used when the material being moved could damage the moving parts in other pumps, and the Venturi blower is used throughout industry to ventilate vessels and prepare them for confined space entry. Slightly different than the past examples, airfoils utilize the pressure difference caused by air moving over them to generate lift or downforce. This allows planes to fly and race cars to remain on the track. To recap, Bernoulli's equation expresses how energy is conserved in the fluid along a streamline. It also denotes the relationship between the pressure, elevation, and velocity of a fluid at different states. One relevant connection is the inverse relationship between the velocity and pressure of a flowing fluid. The effects of this relationship were demonstrated in the ping pong ball and blow dryer experiment. Lastly, Bernoulli's equation and the effects of the relationship between velocity and pressure are used in industry in a multitude of applications to move material. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you learned something new today 